Hey y'all, Nico here. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, thanks for joining me. I'm Nico. Today's video is day 12 of our new year, new yogi challenge. And today we are working through a sequence with a peak pose and our peak pose will be Uttanasana or forward fold. So this practice is meant to lead you up to a deeper Uttanasana or a deeper forward fold. And we're going to do that by loosening up the muscles surrounding our hamstrings. Sometimes when your hamstrings are tight, you might not be able to get into a good forward fold. And that could have something to do with your hips, your back, again the muscles that are surrounding your hamstrings so we're going to go through a few poses stretching out these areas that surround your hamstrings your glutes your hips your back and then we will move into our forward fold and then we'll kind of um, go down from there so for this practice go ahead and grab a yoga strap if you don't have a yoga strap you can use a belt or you can use a sock and we're just going to use the strap to assist us in our forward fold so we can get into a deeper version of forward fold so let's start with a little bit of breath hands are resting on the knees or on the legs coming to easy pose here. If you have issues sitting in easy pose like this, grab a couple pillows, a couple books, or a block, or a folded up blanket, put it underneath your hips. It'll help you get into the pose a little bit better. Let's close your eyes down. Let's start with some breath, deep inhale. And exhale. Second deep inhale. And exhale. One more deep inhale. And exhale. On your next inhale, sweep the arms up. Interlace the fingers, press the palms away. Exhale, bring your hands straight down in front of you and walk them forward until you start to feel a stretch in your hips and in your back. Melt your chest down. Starting by gently opening up our hips right away. Inhale. Exhale, walk the hands back. Bring your hands to your knees, and we're going to move our body around in the circle. So keep your spine long, and we'll just start to move our bodies around. So not stirring your body, but moving your whole torso, keeping that spine long here. And again, this is kind of helping, helping to loosen up hips. Good. Let's move the other way. time. Come back to neutral. Sweep the arms up. Inhale. Interlace those fingers. Press the palms away. Sitting nice and tall here. Elongating that spine. 
Exhale, twist to the right side, left hand outside of right knee. Right fingertips face the wall behind you. Looking straight ahead or over the back shoulder. Inhale, sweep the arms back up. Interlace the fingers, press the palms away. Exhale, twist to the left. Right hand outside of left knee. Left fingertips face the back wall. Look straight ahead or let your gaze follow, looking over the back shoulder. Inhale, sweep the arms up again. Interlace those fingers, press the palms away. Release the right hand down. Bring that left arm up and over. So you can keep the right elbow straight or let the forearm rest on the ground. Extending through that left arm. So stretching out our spine here. Inhale, come through the center. Exhale, lower the left hand down. Right arm up and over. Elbow can stay straight or you can lower it down. Good. Sweep the arms back up. Inhale. Interlace the fingers, press the palms away. Exhale, release the hands. Let's come up to a table position. From here, we will take our right foot, step it outside of our right hand, and then start to lift the chest, coming to a lizard pose. You could come up on the fingertips if you like. If you want a little more, tuck the back toe under, lift the knee off the ground. And we'll find some Circles here if you like. Getting a good stretch in the hips and the glutes. Good. Lower the left knee down if it's up. Step that right foot back. Let's do the other side. Left foot steps up outside of the left hand. Coming up on the fingertips if you like, lift the chest here. Staying just like this or lifting the right foot off of the ground. Lifting the right knee off the ground rather. Finding some circles. Good. Lower the right knee down. Step the left leg back. Big toes together, knees wide. Float the hips back towards the heels for Balasana, child's pose. Arms extend out forward, and you can melt your chest down in between the knees for your child's pose. Take a couple more breaths in your child's pose. Inhale. Exhale, float your body forward. Tuck the toes under. Let's lift the hips up and back for our first down dog. Good. Press the chest towards the thighs, the heels towards the ground. Your heels don't have to touch the ground, just extending them towards the ground. If you need to come down to your knees, 
feel free. Let's pedal our feet out one at a time. Let's get a stretch up in these hamstrings. Good. Bring your gaze up in between your hands. Step your feet outside of your hands. We're gonna start to lower our hips down for Malasana squat. So hands to heart center, elbows inside of the knees. See if you can keep your feet flat as you lower your hips down. Good. If you need to keep the hips up high, that's totally fine. Lift your chest here. Let's find a rock side to side. Loosening up these hips. Good. From here, let's come to standing. So press down through the feet. Start to lift the body up. Arms come up, inhale. Exhale the hands to heart center and down at your sides and then walk your feet back underneath your hips. Now we'll get ready to move into Uttanasana or peak pose. So go ahead and have your strap nearby. Your strap, your block, your belt, whatever you have available. You can bring it in front of you. Let's sweep the arms up, elongating the spine here. Exhale, push the walls away. Dive down towards your feet. Grab your strap. Bring it underneath the balls of your feet. Holding on to either side of the strap. Inhale, lengthen the spine with a half lift. Exhale, use the strap to pull you deep into your forward fold. Of course, not coming so deep that you injure yourself, but just using the strap to assist you. Good. Let your knees be soft here, not locking our knees. See if you can bring your gaze up towards your navel. Let's spend a couple more breaths here. Good, take an inhale. Exhale, release the strap. Bend your knees, bring the hands in front of the feet. Step back to your down dog. Good. Inhale, down dog. Exhale, drop down to the knees. And we'll move into some cat-cow, Marjariasana and Bidalasana. Hands underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips. Take an inhale. Flip the tailbone upward. Lift the chin, arch the spine, drop the belly down. Exhale. Tuck the tailbone under, round the spine. Bring the chin down to the chest. Good. Let's do a few more rounds. Inhale, open. Flip the tailbone up, arch the spine, lift the chin. Exhale, close. Move through the next couple rounds on your own. Good. Take an inhale. 
Exhale, make your way down to a seat. However you get there works just fine. And we'll end in a little bit of breath here. Deep inhale through the nose. Exhale out the mouth. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. And come back to your natural breath. Spending a few more moments with our breath here. Just using this time to take a moment to extend gratitude towards ourselves for all of the hard work we just did and for making it to our mat today. And on your next inhale, just sweep the arms up, hands meet. Exhale, the hands to heart center. <sighs> Namaste. Okay, guys, thank you for joining me for day 12 of our new year, new yogi challenge. Leave a comment down below letting me know what you thought of this practice. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And check out the link in my description box about becoming a member of my channel. And as always, thank you for watching. Peace and love.